My name is Raul Nogueira, and an interventional neurologist at uh, Grady Memorial Hospital, and a professor of neurology, neurosurgery, and radiology at Emory University. Just had the pleasure of presenting the time analysis of the Dawn trial on behalf of um, my, my core investigators. And uh, essentially what you demonstrate today is that uh, we are adding now with these late trials of thrombectomy some complexity to the whole time effect uh, of endovascular therapy and outcomes. First, it has become clear that it's now key to understand there are actually three different time metrics uh, in endovascular therapy for the stroke. The time that the patient was last seen well at baseline, the actual ictus time, and finally the time that the symptoms were first observed by a witness or family member. Moreover, it's, it has also become clear that you have to understand there are different outcome metrics when it comes to functional outcome. So you can have the dichotomized modified rank scale, uh, the, the full independence at 90 days, the scale of zero to two. You can do the ordinal shift analysis, and as was done in the down trial, you can look at the difference in the average utility weight MRS score, which seems to be the most patient-centric way of looking at the data. So we start the analysis of uh, the down trial with the expectations that, as in the early window trials that didn't use uh, advanced imaging necessarily to, to correct for, let's say, the time effect, we would see a time dependence on outcomes. And uh, that was exactly not the case. Uh, the results overall support the notion that this principle of clinical quorum mismatch resets the clock. And as long as you have a clinical quorum mismatch at any point in time, you seem to equally benefit from um, endovascular reperfusion. I think that's a very important concept that essentially highlights uh, the theory that collateral flow will buy you time to reperfuse any individual patient. And then patients with favorable imaging profile and high clinical severity should be reperfused regardless of time from syndromes onset.